for them though, more so. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Okay, but what you can do is that you can leave the Discord and zoom in. We can go to chat, game chat. We're going to need to invite us in, eh? I'll, I'll invite him. Keegan, how's it? Yes, we are still figuring it out. So I'll let you dead. Hello, my Jakes. we do sure Okay, let's go. Welcome guys, it is Renault 3.5 V8 qualifying. We're just getting the last couple of guys into the lobby. Um, in the background, I do have the my, I would, don't even know what to call him, my partner in crime. Co-commentator, let's take that.
Yes, indeed, Stephen. And we are just waiting to get going. And we, we are going to be going around the Red Bull ring um, for a qualifying. The format for this evening is we're going to be getting the guys to have the uh, three sessions of 15 minutes each and to go and set their fastest time. Once that fastest time has been set, it will be loaded. And then we'll basically be moving on to the next lobbies. We've got six lobbies this evening. We're running with a 15 minute each. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And the times today are going to be very close. So I'm not too sure what happened there. It looks like that I disconnected from that lobby, so I'm just rejoining quickly. Hopefully I don't have any further issues. I just want to see if I don't have any um, clashing problems. See the invites are coming back in. Unfortunately, actually I was clashing there. Just give me a sec. I just want to see if I'm not clashing with anyone. Just going into the actual game screen itself. So it looks like I am clear. Let's just get that back. Okay, Ashley, you are able to leave the Discord if you can. Okay, so while we're loading up, let's just have a quick look at the car that the guys are going to be driving. It is a V8, 530 horsepower, the top speed of 300 kilometers an hour. Doesn't quite get it on this track, it's a little bit tighter. But having a look at some of the guys doing the qualifying, the... The qualifying I think is going to be extremely close and the reason being is that there are already four drivers that have qualified for the tier one which is basically our alpha tier and that's because we got two seeded drivers two current champions which is Christopher he um, did win uh, just know just I have just disconnected once again It looks like it. <laughs> so we'll just have to get that started up. Apologies, guys. It is unfortunately not what we expect. But obviously, with it being the first event, we're going to start having these little teething issues. I'm not sure if I pushed a button, but I'm pretty sure that I didn't. So to the guys that are on the stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're already seeing um, some of the guys saying that they unfortunately cannot hear Stephen. Let's give it a go. Stephen, just say something and let's see if the guys can hear you, please. So Keegan was saying, sorry, can't hear Stephen. Uh, Keegan, please can you confirm, give us a message and let's see whether we can get get Stephen heard. So some of the guys that have joined us, we've got Alex Gore, Alexander Genesco. I'm sorry if I absolutely butchered your name there, but welcome. Brandon Hills, he's going woohoo. He can't wait to get onto the lap. And uh, his little comment to Lendl is Klappe Le Lendl. I'm actually wondering if these two aren't going to be teaming up for the series. Both Brandon and Lendl qualifying in Tier 1 for our V8. OK, 
Okay, Stephen, just uh, give us something. Let's just see if the guys are, are can hear you yet. They're still saying they're not able to hear you. So I've actually just confirmed my theory. Brandon's come through and said, we are, and they're racing as racing boots. That's very special. It sounds like you guys are from four ways. Ah, and Keegan Stoltz. It's actually not Keegan Stoltz. It is actually Jake's. <laughs> well, Jakes, it is lacquer to have you watching. Okay, so I'm loaded up once again. Let's see if I can get back into the lobby. There was the invite I needed. Sorry, guys, for the technical problems we are currently experiencing, but I'm sure that we'll go straight into the lobby now. So Stephen, do we have any lap times that have currently come up yet or the guys still on the right lap? Well, that's absolutely fantastic news. That's exactly what we want. The closer the time, the better the racing. So there we go. My screen is officially up. I can officially see everything. And uh, uh, Lendl, or oh, my wife is calling. Chase, time for you to go to bed, boy. I'm sending him to bed, Moshiri. Love you. I hope you're watching this stream. I cannot agree with you anymore. So guys, if you do want to find out more about our sponsors, just go down to the description. We have put up the links there to the individual companies. And by just checking them out, you are definitely helping them and just getting the awareness out there. So very interestingly, Lima, well, Lendl, he still leads with a 116.5. And I know that some of the fastest times there in the practice, Marius, he managed to get himself into a 116.1. But now he's about 1.1 seconds off that fastest time. Very interestingly enough is Craig and what you're seeing there is 80. That is actually Connor in a 117.9. But I can expect these times to start dropping down to the 116s at least.
I actually think that might have been him. Sorry there to jump in there, Stephen. It might have actually been him up at the top. They're coming out of Remus. Um, th that might be a disconnection. No, that might have been. It might have just been him going into. <laughs> might have just been him going into the into the pits. But let's see if that's. Sorry, the um, Gerard in third place. He's just on a 117.3. So he has moved himself up the order, which has now dropped Craig further down into fourth. Actually, he's in fifth and Marshall moving up there with uh, Connor now moving down the order in seventh place. So there's Connor, um, actually one of the young drivers driving out of the, I want to say PE, but I'm not too sure of the series, but I know that he is involved with, with uh, thank you very much. I got a little um, voice in my ear there from East London Karting. So he will be a fair to the single seaters. And sorry, Ashley, if we are putting you off. But this is the first session of six happening. The drivers will each get three different chances to come and put down their fastest time. Those times will then be collected and we will then put them up um, on a roster to determine the top 12 that will go into the top 16 in Bravo, uh, Alpha tier. And then the next 16 will go into the Bravo tier. see that Morris has also gone a little bit quicker. He's now managed to get into those 16s. So guys, please just let me know if you can hear um, Stephen now. We think we might have solved this. Then I will disrupt the stream. Hold on. So unfortunately, we have lost Ashley, and it seems like we might have lost some drivers with him. Um, Amaris here has managed to get into a 160.3. What we will do, however, is the drivers that did disconnect, we will make sure that we have them recorded. We will make sure that those times are logged so they, at least they do have one time um, added there. But Morris, he has now gone quickest with a 116.36. Lendl is in second place. Craig, he's in third 
with Gerard a 117.3. Oh, big hit there for Connor taking out that breaking Barker. So just looking further down the order, uh, that is Stephen in sixth place with a 118.2. We then have Rainmeister in 8th position. New to the series, he's decided that he wanted to come and join us. Ninth place, that is Stoltz, which is actually Robert. In 10th place, that is Colin. We then have uh, Mihai, who is Wolf in 11th place. He's also new. Joining us from Italy this evening, welcome to the Soccer Championship. In 11, uh, 12th place, that is Dane with a 121.1. And at the bottom there, in 13th place, that is Memo, and not being able to put on a lap time just yet. So, a one minute remaining of the session. So Stephen, just uh, want to check in to see if the guys can hear you yet, because I have played around with some of those settings. So I'm getting a bit of feedback from your microphone all of a sudden, which means that we're probably hearing you twice. So we have nine seconds. The guys will be on their final lap. And that's it. That qualifying session is over. Morris, he goes quickest with a 116.3 with Lendl in second place with a 116.5. Craig, he's third fastest. That's a great, great result there for him. So there we go, guys. That is the final results. While we're just waiting for Ross to get the next session up, we just want to see whether you guys on the stream are able to hear my co-commentator, Stephen. So to the guys on the stream, please, please, on YouTube, we can see that you're there. Let us know if you can hear Stephen while we get the new invites. There they come. We're going to be heading off now, but please just drop us a message. So unfortunately, Stephen, the guys are not able to hear you. Not quite sure what's going on. 
but let's go. I can hear you most definitely. So we'll have. I'll have to um, do it as if I am translating for them. But the people are saying, "We want Stephen." Okay, have you got the your invite, Stephen? Coming to, uh, uh, okay. so second qualifying round Brando. for this evening. Great. What sort of times are you getting, Ross? Okay, yeah, so uh, it's mid 16s. If I'm lucky, it's like a 16 2 or something. I'm here, I'm here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're going to try one last time. Uh, right, Gav is here. Jake's. Where's Jake's? Find an invite. I'll send it. Jake's is in second part. It seems that my not, voice just doesn't oh, work on the airwaves right. this okay. evening. Oh, yeah, and he's right. automatic, yeah. Right. Uh, right, we need Dane. Steven, we ah, have you! Welcome! Welcome. I am yes. here! Yes. <laughs> Watch Connor's uh, Fantastic. AD Alexander, that's probably why the confusion is there. This oh, is good news. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for the warm because invitation. Got kicked and out for the warm something. welcome. No, no, no. We he's are in the live here on YouTube this evening. Oh, right. Thank okay. to you from around yes. South Africa and around the world. Are sitting, as long as we're in it, waiting we're time, for the second qualifying round. Starts here with the South African racing community online Formula V8 3.5 League, a brand new league that's starting tonight. Our sponsors. Having brought you this screen, the stream continuing to do so very proudly from VX Gaming, NASCOM, Deliver, and you Deliver me? Your Parcel. Oh, we can use All great now. local companies in South Africa that <laughs> deserve our support, as uh, much as all of the races in tonight's proceedings do. I don't know. I just couldn't get a lap together. So, so thank, thank you everybody, everybody for, for your feedback, feedback. Yeah. giving us a feedback. Yeah. Now I have Steven, plus we have in-game Slow it down. Can you believe yeah, it? exactly. That's the only thing I gotta do. The only thing I gotta do. Finally, it's, we are there. <laughs> we can so, manage to get ourselves there. Just, just look another, at the screen. I got it, bro. Right? That, that is the session for the evening. What is now the... Host, we then have, have Brando, Craig, Craig Donovan. Donovan. That, that is Christopher, one, one of our characters. Who's, uh, who's picking up that sound in the background of the uh, live stream? I am. Thank, Thank you. you. Think, if you could put it down a bit, please. No, I'm not listening to it. Just really, yeah, uh, then then yeah, 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 I'm here, but I'm uh, the Donovan, Craig is here, and Brando is here. Okay, so we're only missing Pierre, who's not online, and Mimo, who was just in the previous session. was just online, yeah. As you can see, Come it's qualifiers. There's like stacks of people online. <laughs> <laughs> We've just, just had Ivan Newman, Newman joining us on the stream. Ivan, how's it? Welcome to the qualifiers. We hope you enjoy it. Guys, thank you very much for your patience. 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 Thank you Ross, please just invite Stephen to the lobby. We cannot do this without him. Well, that's too uh, kind yep. of you. Uh, you do give me too much credit. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Stephen, we've realized that the guys watching this stream don't think it's the same. Somebody gone? Stephen, indeed. 
They, they give me too much credit as well. No, it's a big Steven privilege to be here commentating alongside the all the founder of, 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 of South African Racing Community Online. Uh, in this fantastic game, Project Cars 2. You know, in the meantime, I would like to discuss a little topic that's come up. Uh, that we have, well, almost all of us, I'm sure, have Someone seen this, to um, uh, uh, this topic come up. Project Cars 3. It has mm. now been announced. Um, it is an official is thing. It is happening. And it's coming in the American summer of 2020, as far as I understand, which is not that far away. So this game is um, finding people all over this? the world because uh, of be. the I radical new it. take that the developers yeah, are uh, using on, on Project Cars. And it seems that it is taking on a bit more of a need for speed kind of uh, vibe. I don't know if you picked that up, Dylan. Stephen, and, and before, before we actually went into, into this, this, you, you said, said to me, are we, we going to bring that up? up? And now, and now we, can we can see our face, you can see my disappointment. When, when I saw it initially, initially I, was I was like, that's, that's amazing. amazing. But, but as, as you start, start seeing the customization and going, going and doing, doing the wonderful paint jobs, jobs it did take, take me to Gran Turismo, and I've always been a Gran Turismo fanboy, without a doubt. Of course. Of course. What, what I loved about I'm, Project Cars 1, one was, was the, the, the way the, the car, car felt, felt on the track. track. Moving, Moving it over, over to Project, Project Cars 2, I did, did that purely because the, the GTS had, had come out yet. yet. When, when I, I drove GTS, GTS it, for me, because, because I've spent, spent so much time on Project, Project Cars, Cars, GTS just, just felt numb to me. me. What, what I, I hope, hope that the guys developing Project Cars 3 have not done is focus, focus too much, much on, the on the cosmetics of the game, game and I forgot, forgot about the actual, actual racing. racing. Fingers crossed, I hear you loud and clear on that particular issue because what is attractive about Project Cars is that it is a simulator and that it is a, uh, a fantastic game that um, will only be, it, 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 it continues to be what it is only if it's not fiddled with. And it's, it, it's, it's a formula for success, as we already know. Yeah. So why, why must they be fiddling with it? That is the question that a lot of people are going to be asking. And that is why you'll notice Need for Speed appears to have switched, although it is not a simulator, it appears to have switched into or split into two different types of racing. You've yeah. got one which is, which is simulator kind of vibe, something like Need for Speed Shift and Shift 2, and then you had all of the arcade style races, so Hot Pursuit and more recently Heat and so on. So it's not catering to both markets. It's a very, very attractive idea. Maybe Project Cars is trying something like that themselves. Yep. Uh, so, 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 uh, just, just to cut in there, there, just, just accept it. But, but, so, so the guys in the, the background, background can, can be going. going and we're, we're able, able to get, get to, to the, the racing. racing. Have, Have you got, got your, your lobby, lobby butt? butt? Ready and I'm in and I am. You just, just need to, to accept the, the invite to be the director. So, so to, to Morris and Lendl, Lendl if, if you would, would like, like to join us um, in the in commentary box, box during, during the qualifying, feel free, free to just jump on the just the, the, the Discord, Discord for us and. Let's, Let's get, get chatting. chatting. It was nice to have some drivers in the box with us. You know, I appreciate that about the Le Mans 24 hours. Uh, when you have drivers who are either retired drivers not participating in the race that year or uh, drivers who are on a break from down there, they will come up and they'll provide a little bit of commentary on, on, on proceedings as they go. And nothing provides as much realism and as much... Uh, up to the minute information as that from somebody who is on track themselves. He knows what it's like to be behind the wheel. Exactly. Exactly. So, so just, just to give everybody an update. update. Oh, there, oh, there we, we go. go. I, I just saw, saw a message, message coming from Ross to say they're, they're waiting, waiting for Memo, but, but it, it looks, looks like we are going. going. So, so we, we will be able, able to get rid of our faces. Please get, get my ugly mug off the screen. <laughs> but, but at least, least you can still hear us. Please, please give, us give us a thumbs up, up if, if you, you can, can still hear us. us. 
we have changed our broadcasting software because the software that I was using um, during, during our 5x5 five 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 did, did give up the ghost, ghost and it seems to be a little bit more sophisticated now. Oh, here's a conversation starter. Was that software made by Apple? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, we don't, don't know, know, do we? we? They said they better, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe they're looking at the sponsorship. <laughs> if you are just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, we are live this evening on YouTube. The South African Racing Community Online Formula V8 3.5 League. It's a brand new league. Uh, it's, uh, it's beginning. Oh, wow. Coming out of the pits. On fire there. I've never seen somebody come out of the pits, the pits in a power slide. Come out of the pit garage itself. That's quite amazing. Well, they, well, they clearly, clearly haven't, haven't watched uh, any of my races because that's, that's very, very much, much my style. style. <laughs> Watching Ross here coming out of the pits and onto the track. This is qualifying session number two of this evening. Very, Very interesting, interesting is, is during all the practices, the practices I was attending yesterday, the second fastest in those lobbies was actually Ross. Wow. Oh, well, there we go. Challenge to beat, is it not? So, so my, my Jake, Jake's, I know you're saying, saying I'm echoing. echoing. I, I don't, don't quite, quite know how, how to fix that. that. You're just lucky enough to get to the worst ones. Maybe, maybe hopefully, hopefully the engine noise, noise is in the background now. Drown will drown the echo. echo. So, so it's shot by Steven. Um, we have Morris. He's joined us in the, the, the commentary box. box. Morris, how, how are you doing? doing? How, how was, was that first session for you? Uh, it's pretty tense. As you can see, the times are very, very close. Um, you really have to push it now. I thought I'd be safe in, in a mid-16, but uh, it wasn't a minute or two, there was already a mid-16. So I had to do an extra stint there. So I'm looking forward to this one. Considering that you've got two other guys, other guys on the podium with you and within a, 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 a second of you, I think it's going to be very, very tight there on track this evening. Um, because a lot of these cars are going to be wanting to put their foot absolutely flat. As we have seen in the comments on YouTube, flat out is the way. And did you find yourself uh, being ginger with the top of the wall tonight? Um, in some corners, you have to squeeze, as Dylan knows, squeeze out the throttle. Um, but uh, what I like about this car is a bit wild. Ooh, it it off. Off. But. Uh, in most corners, if I, you, you can, it's got a, it makes you feel um, you've got confidence in it. That's why it's so nice to drive. You can really feel like you can push it. One well, then, there's a reason why these cars are known as, as the, the ideal trainers, trainers for Formula, Formula One. One. I mean, apart from the fact that they look so similar, similar. Yeah. 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 the Formula One cars a few years ago, they are far more phenomenally more fast. fast. And, 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 and weighing in at 600, 620 kilograms, that's, that's, that's no, that's no even car that's coming out of there. I mean, that is less than half the weight of most cars. Today, and of course, more than double the power of these guys coming around here with at the very minimum 530 horsepower, 395 kilowatts in a 630 kilo, 620 kilogram car. I beg your pardon, that is an insane power to weight ratio. No, it's a beast for sure, and that's why it's such a big deal. Uh, Whoa, I don't know if you saw that, but that, that was so, so close. close. Yeah, and that's somebody had uh, the spun a turn on the three. And Connor just managed, just managed to avoid going on the outside. outside. Taking out a few comments for good measure. Morris, the question, the question I have for you, will, will you be going, going quicker in your next, next session? session? Well, I haven't gone the quickest I've gone yet. So, let's see. I've got two stints left. Let's see if I can eat that 15. No, no, no. Awesome. Awesome. And on a track like this, with a few blind corners, you have to do it 
perfect every single time. So it's difficult. But let's see, there's a few very fast guys that's doing now. Well, with just under yeah, 10 and, and a half minutes to go in this session, we have, have got a fastest time board board, board coming from Christopher. 16.685, there is more than a second between Chris and Connor. Uh, I beg your pardon, not Connor. Who is ADI? That, that is Connor. That is Connor. That that is, Connor. Connor. Yeah, is it Connor? Is Connor? It is Connor. Okay. Connor. That's right. And, and keep what, your what? eye on Craig. Oops, there this stream goes away. No signal. Oh, there it's back. Okay. Alright. Um, nice to still keep you guys. It looks like oh, yeah, we're almost you. get ready for my next session. Yep. Morris, Morris, thanks, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. That's exactly why, why we are lucky enough to have some of the drivers join us in the commentary box to provide us with their insight on how their racing is going. You can expect more action tonight and more insight coming from those drivers as they join us in the pit box when they've got some time to make it up here. Um, and we will be able to tell you, oh, what? Oh, that's a that's a big off there. That is a big off from Christopher. Pushing it to the max, I wish we had the replay. But you can see he's gone straight back into the garage and going straight back out once again. Luckily, coming out with the second car, that must be the fastest driver that I've ever seen in my And I think, I think there might be two Christophers on that basis. basis. And uh, he is going to come out now and try to maintain his hold on pole position there. Because Connor coming in now with a blistering time, 116, triple seven. That is less than one hundredth of a second lower than Christopher this evening. Third place. So, so that's actually Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Uh, we've, we've actually, actually seen it in there. So he's currently in the top four that they do not have to put in a qualifying time for this. And that's really because, because he finished second, second in our bar of tier in, in the Super V8 that we had. That we had. And we promoted him to the Alpha tier directly. And that, that was because, because he was basically winning the championship until the last race. race. was not able to enter, enter due, due to some, uh, some uh, magic issues. issues. So he was disconnected and not able to finish, finish the race. race. And, and Marshall actually ended up winning, winning that. that. So, so both, both Marshall and Ronaldo had been promoted. So, so the guys are fighting for 12 positions to get themselves into the Alpha tier. Well, he has so got really everything to play for tonight, tonight in that case. He's just come out of the pits and, and on to straight, straight heading up the hill to turn number two on the, on the Red Bull ring. For the Grand Prix circuit this evening, no doubt one of the most exciting races on the Formula One calendar when it does come up. And it's just a, it's a really, really nice track. And I think, uh, I think he will be able to make some real good progress here tonight if he focuses on his driving and he's able to keep himself in that top four and get in there with a really competitive time. At this point in time, he is just over 200th of a second from pole. So just, just, and I'm just uh, sorry, sorry there's there's six place, place that, that Brandon, Brandon Hills, Hills. He's, he's starting to, to move up the order, order. on the next one. one second Brandon, Brandon going, going very stealth for us there, there. Not, not sure why, but, but he's still in the lobby, so, so that's, that's all good really well. well. New car, it's a new car design, you see, it's a <laughs> Love, Love it. And, and that, 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 that it does, oh no, oh, no. There, we go. there we go, he must have better disconnect, he must have better disconnect. The person I'm actually looking forward to seeing, that's Pete, he's done 12, so during some of the practices, he said he was basically just knocking on the door of that 16. So I'm surprised to see he's a little bit further down in the 219, excuse me. Yeah, interesting that the lower order there are some, 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 some pretty good drivers here. Maybe they are having some trouble with this car. Maybe it is pulling the wool over the eyes. Look at number position number 14. That is Stephen. Why so far down the list? He has got five seconds. Just under five seconds with the gap between him and Cole. And five seconds might not seem a lot if you don't know racing all that well but five seconds in cars like these it is a lifetime 
that can be the difference between starting at the bottom of the main straight, as you can see on the screen now, and crossing over the finish line. Five seconds is a big gap, and there's all to do. I see Stephen has now managed to move up to a 118 exactly. It seems that my commentary has spurred him on, uh, moving up from 14th up to 9th place. But just remember, guys, I'm probably just, just trying to let those nerves settle as you, you, you think, think it's, it's all fun and games until you actually get into the car and realize that you've actually got to do this, this for real. real. That's, That's what the front of the so, so one of them are going to be impacted in terms of their lap. We just need to see if any one of them will move out of the way. There we go. Oh, it's actually more of the two that are spinning it. So, fortunately for Stephen, no damage done there. But that's Stephen going, going back, back into, into, into the pit, so he was as happy with something there. Let's draw our attention to our, our man in front, Christopher, still putting in some solid times, just under 4 minutes and 30 seconds remaining of this qualifying session. But we have a new leader. We have a new fastest man at the top, Ross, coming in with a brilliant time, 1.16.654 there. Wow, wow, that is a really, really close gap between first and second this evening. Let's switch our camera mode view over there to our man in front, our new champion, our new man who is going to lead from the top. If he manages to stay there, I'm sure Christopher will be looking now to make up that extra teeny tiny little bit of time, less than one hundredth of a second. You can see Ross really pushing it, going out to turn up the field. Just, just a, a minor, minor lock up. up. And, and I, I know, know that, that the time that it has, has been set, set this, this is probably quite close to Ross's personal, personal best. best. So, so whether he can find that extra point two or point three, three to get, get closer, closer to Morris's time, time, that's, that's what, what interests me. me. So, so great, great shots of, of the cockpit view from our Scottish International. See now going through, through the last corner, a little bit wider, would have liked, liked it to be apex, apex. It's it's a little bit earlier. As, as he crosses, crosses the line, line will he go quicker? quicker. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. So, so he will go straight back into the pit. Yes, yes, he will definitely just, just jump out, out of that. that. Uh, uh, in seventh place, place, we have Gavin. Gavin. So, so Gavin, Gavin joined, joined us halfway through our Super V8 series last year. And it's, it's good, good to see, see him now joining us for a full season. Gavin looking, looking pretty comfortable but quite solidly in the middle field, field with a 117.4. But you can, can see how close it is up at the top. The top. Point. Point. Why well, I said Ross has gone quicker. quicker. Apologies. Yeah, I said Ross has gone quicker. It didn't change. But now Ross has gone to a 116.5. 1.016 faster than Christopher. Whoa, that was oh, DRS too soon. Big off for Gavin, Gavin there. Coming, coming out, out of turn, turn one. A little bit too enthusiastically. So Gavin, uh, Gavin will have to do, uh, do one, one lap that takes, that takes um, on your route lap, lap but on a 123. So he's, so he's got, got two minutes, minutes so he'll have about 30, 30 seconds to spare. spare. But, but the, the question, question is, will he have those tyres up to temperature, temperature quick enough, enough in one, one lap. lap? I don't think so somehow. It seems Why? like he mm -hmm. might have to yeah. be satisfied with a 117.4, putting, putting him in seventh place, place at this point in time, time provided yeah. there isn't a shake up in the order. Yeah. We have a new leader. Mr. Hall coming in at the very top. Craig was a very, very quick time. He's faster even than Ross. I uh, tell you, I've actually got a little secret. secret. So, so what, what I did, did by accident, I don't know. I, I went, went to put, put up some messages, messages on, on our Discord, Discord and, and I said, I've, I've seen, seen a 151. One. This so afternoon, Craig phones me, he's battling, wants to get in. But he's saying what he's doing is 116, and I'm the second one for 15. And I said, sorry, Craig, I actually made a mistake. And here we go, he puts it to the fastest time. Wow. Made a mistake. 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 Made a m
Let's see how far around his lap he is if he finds himself in the pits. I think he's going to stay there considering there's only about 35 seconds to go with of this qualifying session. Maybe he's happy with the fact that he's got a second place. Christopher out there. That might be a little bit too short of a time to find himself coming in with a new fast lap. Oh, there's a little slide going into then number three, it looks like. So we have seen that we've just been given our new invites. But it's just a couple of seconds left in the session. But a little tongue twister <laughs> Happens to everybody. At least there aren't any red lorries and yellow lorries on track tonight. No, red lorries, red lorries yellow, yellow lorries, I can say. say. <laughs> and here we go, guys putting in their final laps now, if they are still out on a flying lap. And then some of the radios from some of the guys doing a little bit of uh, motivation in the background, perhaps in the lobby, talking to each other, finding out exactly how they did. see who is still out there seems everybody is done with their uh, practice here and with their qualifying as well so i say one last one here comes on that is the end of qualifying session number two looking at our leaderboard here in the first place craig 116.4 Ross coming up very, very fast behind him for the 116.520. And in third place, Christopher, 116.685. If that doesn't set up a very close starting grid in the top three positions, I don't know what does. Coming in fourth place, Brandon with a 116.758. And less than 20 thousandths of a second later, who, Who is, is A.D. Alexander? Alexander? Is that one of our guests? Uh, sorry, it just took me a little bit to get into the lobby, lobby but, but let, let me just, just go and accept the invite. For Ashley, Ashley, so we don't, don't have any guests in our Discord just yet. yet. So, so I'm just, just getting, getting up some of the lap times, times and we'll, we'll be able, able to put together a... There you go. That's not going to turn down the music, so, the background music, no, no, that's you... going to turn everything down. Yeah, no, it's going to turn it all down. So all you do is you go, you hold the PlayStation button and output the headphones, just put chat audio only for now. Uh, no, 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 but I don't want to... I'll be, I'll be messing around during this qualifying and I need to just, I need to get from a 17 to a 16. To get from a 20 to a 90. Tyler, you're only saying. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you're getting some of the chances in the background. Right, 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 Don't start, eh? Hello, Tyler. Hello, Terry. 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 Hello, Okay. We got three lobbies. Right, and we are now waiting for session number three, qualifying session number three to begin this evening of the Sarko Formula V8 League. Coming to you live on YouTube. Brought to you by Where's your Gaming, iPhone uh, speakers? Uh, the guys who developed and very proudly host the Sarko uh, website we you? as well as deliver your parcel. The yeah, courier yes. partner. I'm like the sex not the yeah. stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, I can hear you on my phone, not on the speaker. So you're not, you just you're not coming through on the, the, on the, on the, on the game, but... Uh, just unplug him and plug him back in. Into the right. Yeah, he says, Vaughn, drink dr him deep in, but... <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yes, I'm this remote. Difficult with the remote. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you on my phone, but I'm not hearing you through the speakers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can hear Vaughn now. It was working now, I was chatting to my brother. Oh, were you? I, I can hear Vaughn now. So I don't know. Okay, cool. Alright, just check it out. Yeah, no, I'll sort it out. Alright, right, good luck, eh? Have fun, man. Yeah, just first time I'd face this afternoon. Can you, can, can you hear all of us talking? Uh, but we, we're talking flat out. So you, if you're not hearing us, then you're... There's something well, not like with the... Uh, I'll obviously start bouncing a little bit of history about the Red, Red Bull Ring. Located in Austria. Cool, uh, has cool. hosted cool. the Austrian cool. Grand Prix for 18 consecutive years. The original version of that track, of course, uh, hosting, uh, hosting the, the Austrian, Austrian Grand Prix for those years between 1970 and 1987. It did receive one heck of a makeover uh, and it reopened as the Red Bull Ring on the 15th of May 2011 and it then immediately hosted the 2011 season of the Deutsche Touring Cars and a round of the 2011 F2 Championship. Formula One then made a very, very welcome return to the Red Bull Ring in the 2014 season. Of course, it was confirmed just two days ago that Formula One will hold back to back races on the 5th and the 12th of July to start the 2020 season, and that is going to be happening at the Red Bull Ring. It will also be hosting the four, first four races of the F2 Championship and the F3 Championship, both scheduled for this year. But to give you an idea of how close our guys are within the esports community to uh, the real racing out there, um, the Formula One drivers such as Kimi Raikkonen during a race last year in 2018, I beg your pardon, sitting in the Ferrari, managed to get himself a 106.9. That is a blisteringly quick time. And less than 10 seconds later, you will find our guys here on Sarko coming in with their fastest times in cars, which are also significantly slower. But it just shows you that a number of these guys are very, very quick behind the wheel and put behind the wheel of a Formula One car. Uh, of course, virtually, I think that they would match up very, very similar times to what the real guys do out there on the track. Fastest time outright though, on the Red Bull Ring, coming in with Charles Leclerc in a uh, for a Ferrari SF90, that was at, la at last year's Austrian Grand Prix. And that was <laughs> an almost impossibly quick time of just over one minute and three seconds. In a previous iteration of the track, Michael Schumacher, the great Formula One driver, he put in the fastest time ever there during the 2003 Austrian Grand Prix. 108. The original circuit, the fastest man, no, the original circuit that was. Uh, so not anything 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 for, for myself, myself and Stephen. We just need the director. Sorry, Stephen. Sorry, Stephen. Stephen. No problem at all. We, <laughs> we have, have to work, work out these, uh, these things when we're, we're, busy, we're yeah. busy here. Uh, juggling, uh, juggling many things at once when we're sitting up in, in the commentary, commentary box. box. The virtual, virtual commentary, commentary box, of course. And as I was saying, back with the original circuit of the formula, uh, the Red Bull Ring, of course, it wasn't called that back then, the 1975 Austrian Grand Prix, the great Nicky Lauda with a Ferrari 312T coming in with a 1 minute and 34 second fastest lap ever on that circuit. Of course, what is important is that the Red Bull Ring is not just a racing circuit. It is also home to a number of concerts that have taken place over the years from Bon Jovi, the Rolling Stones and ACDC. 
are some of the uh, great music acts that have performed um, at the Red Bull Ring. Ashley? Okay, well, Ashley, you need to please give me a yeah, invite. Yeah, I need an invite to the, the broadcast, please. Uh, so Stephen for the director. director. That's, That's it. it. We are in and ready, ready to go this evening. The third, third qualifying, qualifying session. session. Are we missing anyone? You've got Sean, Donovan. Was Fossil, Vaughan, Jakes. Where's Jakes? Jakes, Jakes is gone. Jakes is playing Fortnite. Okay, so you obviously know not racing. Yeah, it's his son, yeah. <laughs> He's watching the stream, that's for sure. Okay, P mix overdrive's not sure. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yes, got connection problems. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, guys. Um, okay. Is that a bit better? Go. Okay, so while we are waiting, load up. Red Bull Ring. It is located in a very, very pretty part of the world, Austria and Germany. Rolling hills. And all across of them must make for some awesome noises in those valleys and across those hills when you've got the v 8 of the Renault coming through there. And here we are. Our guys going onto the track. These are the outlaps. We're waiting for them to emerge from those pit garages. So this is is back. Is back. Guys, guys, just, just let us know, know if the sound coming through is slightly better, better please. That we, we have, have managed to get rid of some of the echo from the screen, but I don't know if it's too much on our side. I can tell you something, that, that screaming of the V8 in my ear, I can, I can listen, listen to that all day. day. It is a lovely noise, isn't it? And it's amazing how V8s can sound so very, very different. You're looking at uh, the V8s that you'll find, a diesel V8, for example, in something like a Land Cruiser, uh, compared to the American V8, the old seven-liter monsters that you'll find in 1970s American muscle cars. Uh, and even the German V8s that come from the likes of Mercedes-Benz AMG. Uh, a different firing order is what is responsible for those sounds, a roaring sort of very very purposeful sound that comes out of those German V8s all the way up to what you'll find in these cars you are looking at on your screen right now revving up to rather I don't have those figures in front of me but I'll be revving up to some insane number do you remember that the old V10s that we found in Formula 1 cars they were blisteringly loud uh, they used to rev up to something like 12,000 RPM back then for a V10 that is a high number and of course that is a sound to Formula 1 cars that most people remember. Right Pete having a bit of an off on his out lap, oh no, sorry, I beg your pardon, that is the start of his first flying lap. He's going to need to find himself back heading in the right direction, just clear of the traffic. And back onto the black stuff. Heading up towards and number two on the Red Bull ring. So, so Slide P wouldn't be able to go, go any, any faster, faster 
Because I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure he has a 116 there somewhere. It'd be a 116? I have to wait and see. Marius is in this race as well. It was very, very quick in practice session. Qualifying session number one, I beg your pardon. So, so I do, do you think, think that Slack does, does have what it takes, takes to go, go slightly quicker. quicker. And it's, it's just, just occurred to me, putting, and, and um, I, did I did realize that I actually should have mentioned, mentioned it. But, but yesterday, yesterday, during the qualifying, the qualifying session, Ross did 100, 100 less in that qualifying, qualifying session. session. So, so I'm actually not surprised that he went, went faster in this session. session. Here we go, Tom's now starting to come in. In 017, just off 117 dead. Nemo in second. Less than three hundredths of a second behind. Ash. Ash is moving down the list. So guys, I didn't want to give everybody some running opportunities where Tom's on. But, but it's just turned out to be a little, little bit too difficult, too difficult to, to go, go back and bring, bring up the, the Excel spreadsheet while trying to watch the race. race. So, so I do apologize, but we will um, do it at the end, get, get all the laptops in, in, and then we'll, then we'll go and we'll put, put a post, post up on our, our Discord, Discord if you're watching there. Otherwise, please guys just, just check, check out our Facebook page and we'll put, put the post up this evening. Apologies. Come on, Dylan, what's wrong with you? Your, your wife surely says you'll be able to multitask, or is it only her who can? If my, if my wife sees what, what I'm currently doing, doing she will wonder, wonder why I don't, don't always multitask. multitask. <laughs> I, hope I hope she's not, not are you changing? Are you changing here to Ashley Lau in second with a nice 17.2? Coming on the back straight ish up to turn number three. He's going to be going up that hill very very shortly our man in front Marius is in the pits might be changing some settings changing a corner no, he has just got himself out there let's switch back to our main view here and find ourselves in the driving seat with Marius Warming up those tires now, preparing to put in a flying lap. Okay, so even I'm going to be trying something, something we're going to do, do it live. So, so guys, I'm, I'm going to try, try something, something in, in three, two, one. one. Oh. But if Dylan, if, if Dylan can't be heard, he is trying to reach us all here on the, on the live YouTube stream. I can hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. Seem to be worrying about comments. <laughs> and fantastic version that we're seeing here. Marius now coming up onto the pit straight. Is he going to bet his 117.017? Doesn't seem like it on this particular lap. Tire should be nice and warm now. Getting very closely behind. It's Ash reaching over to a cockpit there. Just 241 hundredths of a second behind the man in front, Marius. So, guys, so I don't know what to do. I've been trying for settings, I've been playing. Just don't understand. understand. 
Captain is trying everything he can to get himself back into the live stream. If you are following us live on YouTube this evening. For some exciting racing coming to you from the Red Bull Ring in Austria. And from the comfort every driver's own lounge or man cave. You could hear those tyres fighting for grip there as it all came out of Rimmis. And I just want to give a big up to my brother. Welcome, Sink. Welcome for joining us. Brandon telling us that um, Dylan is playing Heidi at this point in time. He was alive with the sound of the voice apparently. And he is trying to sort himself out. Ross, indeed. Uh, Man Cave goes, on your side. What? Good. Oh, memorize these settings, Mr. Hall. Memorize them. I'm never touching Hall. anything ever again. This is it. <laughs> Mine's off. Never Mine's hold. off. Hands of everything, this is working now. We should finally have all of our audio issues sorted out. Oh, getting the back end loose there. And they're doing well. He's chasing Arius's time. So what I can do is just give us a quick rundown of what the guys did from the first lobby just so we have some sort of idea in terms of the times that we can benchmark against so just looking we currently Marius did a 160.3 Craig in the second session he did a 116.4 so anything quicker than a 160.2 then goes and sets the new benchmark. With the pace. The pace that Lendl did have, he certainly looked like he was trying to get it up there. Switch our view over to our guy in front. Get some track side action going here. Cars too look very, very good, aren't they? Steven, I like the I Sorry, sorry, apologies, apologies. So, Stephen, what I wanted to say is absolutely fantastic to just watch some of the times that the guys are putting up. Yeah, I'm just looking at sixth place. There's Sly Pete, or Pete. He started at a 119, he moved up to a one. Um, 18.3 or so now he's gone and hit a 118 dead and i know that leading up to this qualifying we had in fifth place that's disaster box but also known as sean van der linda he was battling to get the car into the 119s some help with the setup i know that he spent some time with marius and all of a sudden look at that there he is in fifth place 117.7 great great effort there from sean over three and a half minutes remaining of qualifying session number three and in seventh place that is andrew horn putting himself on a 118.4 and he's just ahead of alvain of a 118.6 and that is terry wolford in 119.1 I know that he's been saying he wants to get into those 118s, but it's good to see that time is coming down. May just be able to do it. Two minutes left of the session. Whoa. Oh no, as we stand. Good catch there, as Terry. Listen, that's progress. Should... You will not believe how this often program. you come down that hill and that rear steps out and you put it up against the wall. Believe in cars as light and powerful as this, and even if your if your tires are even slightly cold, you're putting yourself in harm's way there. 
but the livery on that car looking very, very good, sponsored by Namco Bandai. Another driver that uh, new to the series joined halfway through uh, last year, or last season, apologies, that is Tyler Scott in 10th place, and just behind him, that is Donovan. Donovan had a couple of issues with his connection, so wasn't able to do as much of the Super V8s that we did. So he unfortunately wasn't able to join. Very, very solid times here now. If you look very carefully, you will see that it's less than four seconds between all six, all 13 drivers, I beg your pardon, uh, participating in this qualifying session. So, quick. Apart from our man in 13th, I think I made an error. I need glasses, apparently. Um, looking, looking at Wolf down in... 13th place with a 122. He's got some work to do if he wants to find himself the top five having to shave off some five seconds from his time. Yes, yeah, so Gee, the make... wolf all the way from Italy uh, was in a practice lobby with some of the guys and we invited him to come and race with us and here he is uh, quite late this afternoon he actually decided to join. Um, so that's why we are seeing him further down the, the field. But it's great that he has come in and joined us uh, in 12th place. That is Vaughan Hills P2. Um, kind of joined us halfway through the first season. Oh, big lock up there for Wolf. Well, his actual real name is Mihai. But Vaughan now able to race with us. So really good to have him. Well, that was right up against that curb. That's definitely not going to help his balls. For the traffic to pass. Oh, getting very, very close to passing traffic there. I'll tell you what, this is all about ethical racing and having the necessary etiquette on the track. One thing that a lot of eSports drivers will complain about and you'll find that particularly in the Gran Turismo lobbies when you're looking with lower orders is guys blocking the track and, uh, intentionally trying to stop other people from passing that so there's no place for that in the real world of racing so why is there any place for it in a game a lot of people will ask and that is it qualifying complete guys now going around for the last time the last stab at moving themselves further up the racing order at this point time to beat 116.56 set by marius lendor very close behind him look at that gap tiny tiny gap swap over here oh, i just i went where it just the wrong moment excuse me there we go oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry boys <laughs> We did not mean that, but as you can see, these cars are extremely fragile. So now it's all good and well during the qualifying, but once we get to the racing, minor touches can end your race. This is where you are talking about the discipline there, Stephen, is you cannot touch another driver in these cars. They are like butter. Yeah, they fear in the Euro in Cap, wouldn't you? No, on a serious <laughs> note, these cars, these cars are safe. They are very, very safe. Um, one of the most first and foremost things with Formula One, and of course, applying across the board for all the FIA series, is safety. There we go. We have got our leaderboard results from that qualifying session. Marius gaming top spot there, with the one sixteen point five six. In second, you'll find yourself the friend called Lendl. Five from the United Kingdom. Very, very close behind Marius, 116.57. And Ash in third, one of our local guys, 117.153. Looking further we, down the just, order. Sorry, Stephen, we've just had Vaughan come on the stream and he goes, You missed it. <laughs> so we managed, you did manage to see himself. 
All in good form there, Vaughan. All in good form. At the end of the day, looking at what separates all 13 of these drivers here. Six seconds. That is it. Six seconds between all 13 of these boys. And if you eliminate the high at the very bottom, it's four seconds between the top 11 drivers with Vaughan in 11th coming in 120.122 so guys we're just gonna have a quick two minute break I'm just gonna go get some some liquid for the mouth and we'll be back in the next like two minutes or so we'll just get that invites accepted How's the times looking? Uh, should be into a 15, hopefully. We'll see. are just joining us ladies and gentlemen streaming from around the world we'll be back very very shortly this is the Sarko Formula V8 League brought to you by VX Gaming NASCOM very proud sponsors of our racing and deliver your parcel Colin is here, uh, Rain Meister is here, Rudy is, that's Rudy here, yep. Yeah. Um, How goes the racing this evening? You... Oh. Yes. Oh, it's hey, absolutely Steve. like a... Oh, good, man. Me and I have joined, finally. Where have you been, man? So, guys, you can hear... Hello, the... guys. Sorry guys, about that. Just loading up the lobby uh, yeah, around there. I'm not sure so I had a business call last week for an hour and a half to keep that customer happy. Oh, and we just see that unfortunately Memo was not able uh, to do his, his last two people. rounds. Yeah. Um, and that was because he did have a business call. First things first, right? Priorities must be in the right place. You've got to earn some money to be able to all these expensive racing rigs, all these expensive consoles and these TVs which you need to uh, see uh, all of the minor detail, new detail, should I say? You guys hear me? And there we have Lentil. Welcome, welcome, Ooh. welcome. Sorry, I'm late. I'm still getting used to all this stuff. No worries. So, take us through your qualifying. Please tell us: Are there uh, actual nerves doing a qualifying race? You wouldn't believe it, but actually, yes. I can't believe online uh, racing makes me this freaking nervous. And there we have Marius in the flesh. Let's just realign that quickly. Hello, guys. There he is. 
Very, very good racing out there for the both of you this evening. It seems like you're having uh, having a good time on on, on track. How are the cars? Yeah, me and, me and Lendl have a good battle going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Ross must still have a little bit of an edge on pace. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I couldn't go as far in the first stint because uh, this one was a little bit more unlucky with traffic. So uh, a slower time than the first one. So let's see. Hey. Well, there you are. Welcome. Easy. Hello, Lendl. Nice to meet you guys. Awesome. <laughs> now can I actually always see what my <laughs> well, listen, we are always trying to bring new and exciting things here to Sarko. Now you're being live streamed across the South Africa to all 19 of our audience. Welcome. Nothing is better than nothing. Exactly. So, Lendl. The rim wasn't put in the day, eh? No, it wasn't. Exactly. Is that 115 attainable? Yes, it is, but it's going to be hard. Very difficult. Why is that? But What's the reason for the difficulty? Well, I don't know. Um, my quickest that I've been was a disallowed lap, and it was, it was a 116.2, but also ran wide, so it was disallowed. So I think my quickest uh, actual proper lap was a 15.3 or 4, so I'm still a little bit off there, but I'm sure it's uh, possible with the right setup and so on. Right now, awesome. So guys, we are just going to transition away from this. We will... Um Keep a watch. Morris, you got one more session. Lendl, you've got two, I think. No, sure. I think so, yeah. Right. Lacquer. Guys, the qualifying four is officially... Good luck, Lendl. So we'll chat you later. Shot. Cheers. Good okay. time, gentlemen. Here we find ourselves looking at... Qualifying four this evening. And now you are looking at Rudy Base. 13th car on track. They are still. Oh, there's an off. There's an off. He just won't heal that. All tires. That's what you get. Let's have a look at our man in front. Up with times, just because he managed to get out of the pit lane first. So, just a quick fact that um, Veritarus, we are currently looking, he's actually direct family to myself and Clayton Hall is watch, watching on the stream. Memo is our cousin. It's a pity because uh, he, he, he seems to be... Um, how did you tell him that you were... Uh, did, you, did you mention that he was your cousin at that exact moment because he decided to spin off? What, what, what happened there? I think he was listening. And I think that it was more <laughs> like, no, why are you telling everyone? His time's coming in here and qualifying for. And finding himself up there in second. Oh, Ross. So oh, that's a 129. That's probably just his outlap. What we have may, um, forgotten to mention here is that these cars actually have DRS. So there's a few sections on the track where you're able to open that DRS and that's not because you have a, an area to do so, it's just that it is safe to do so. DRS puts a hell of a lot of power in a very short space of time to those rear wheels. If you're coming out of a corner, you don't have the downforce that you need on those back tyres, no matter how hard they are. And you will find yourself pointing the wrong direction. Or, as Vaughan proved to us earlier, minus a wheel. I think uh, he was the first one that we actually captured having that um, lack of traction in the front. <laughs> <laughs> no amount of balance on that car is going to help you out. Time's coming in here, and guess who is in front? Christopher. But that's still 1.3 uh, seconds away from the fastest time currently on a 116.3. As we say that, oh wow, another off. Manages to save it back into the pits and out once again. It's coming in with an even quicker time, improving on uh, Christopher's time by some three hundredths of a second. 
Well, Christopher does have a, a, a phrase, and it definitely starts with flat out, bud. Flat out is the only way you should be doing it going up that hill. So we see Towards Wolf Gaming, Kingdom. he's joined us on the stream and he says he has some work to do to improve my lap. But don't worry, Wolf, you still have a couple more sessions to go and I'm sure you'll eventually get there. You're doing well, my friend. You are doing very, very well. Right. Three standings at this point in time with less than 10 minutes to go in this qualifying session. Oh, we can actually say top four now. Created by less than five hundredths of a second. If you include top five, that is just under one second between those five drivers it's and phenomenal we, to watch these cars going around the track at this kind of a pace and then i'm just watching the times we see there's sean van der linde again at 179 so that's pretty close to what he did the last time round. that's carrot he's in sixth place we expect him to be going a little bit quicker and then interestingly enough is that we do have Memo moving up into the 118. So I wonder if you'll be happy with that. Colin down in 11th place. Sorry, Miss Reed, he's in 10th. That's Gavin in 12th. It's, uh, Terry Wolford, he's in 13th place. And then Rainmaster, new driver to the series. He has um, confided me in private to, to say he'd rather remain anonymous. Oh, he's just put in a time of 1 minute 30, so perhaps still some temperature lacking from those tires. So what might happen is the guys would actually be between the behind the start finish line when they do their right lap, and that technically he counts them as a lap, but not fast enough. We've got to go out for a second one. So still a nice. 116 is still yet to be found, and as I say that. Our current Super VA champion, Christopher Radloff, he puts himself first, 160.6, but still 0.3 off our fastest time. Well, if he's going to be looking to keep himself in the championship, he's either going to have to have some luck from... Who holds that fastest time at this point? It's a 116.3, so who holds that fastest time tonight? I will have to change my screen. Please give me a moment. Then is doing that. I can make mention of the fact that you are watching live, coming to you from South Africa. This is the South African Racing Online community. You are watching practice. I beg your pardon. Qualifying number four. This the first night, the first event, the first occasion of the Formula V8 League. These powerful cars weighing in at 123 kilograms. So the fastest time is Morris on a 116.36 followed by Craig on a 116.445. Christopher, unfortunately I didn't capture that time but we will be able to get it later on. That looks now, but look, Christopher's done. Well, point one. That is a new fastest time tonight. So there, the challenge has been set. Christopher is currently the fastest man on track, and we just hope that we'll be able to get him into the lobby after this to come and chat to us because I still have that question will we see a 15 Brandon he's moved himself up into second place with a 117.2 and Ross down in third with a 117.3 where is Ross's 116s oh Christopher is showing that it's ooh, running a bit wide 
All I can say is Christopher is throwing everything at this. Absolute, I was just about to say exactly that. That must have been an absolute flyer of a lap. Real dedication, real focus coming from the driver's seat of that car. In fact, let's take ourselves down to the driver's seat with Christopher coming out of the pits now and heading up the hill towards turn two on the red ball ring. Pulling up those tires nicely as he is going to climb hard into the brakes now. He dropping. We'll see now the kind of speed that he can pick up out of turn two. So there's 200 k's an hour. Motor climbing well into the 9000s or its red line. On 200 k's an hour, out of turn three, on the hill, 200 once again. Going the upper limits of fifth gear. And as he goes into turn four, he is chasing hard. This is a very, very quick track. It flows beautifully through the hills. He's still got some lack of temperature in the tyres by the looks of it. Onto the main straight now. He's going to be going flat out. 30, 240, 250 coming up now into sixth gear. These cars are not as quick as Formula One cars. There is no doubt about that. But 260 is still very, very quick. That straight is not the longest of straights in the world. To achieve 260 on that is a lovely number. And hard onto the brakes again, heading into turn two. The top so of the hill. A quarter of throttle allowing the car just to roll up the hill and then flat out here. You'll see your brake just past the 100 meter mark and down into second gear. Get that runoff as wide as possible. Now start tightening up to the right hand side. Just past the down to third. We hold him in fourth. Maybe that's why he has that extra speed. He's going one gear. Well, I would have been gone one gear lower. He's eliminating that gear change, which would make much of a just uh, eliminating the gear change like that can make one heck of a, di a difference, especially even though rather you are using a sequential box oh, as it is in the. Okay, he just pulled out. I think what might have happened is he might have cut that corner a little bit too much, and unfortunately that would have invalidated his laptop. Let's find ourselves on board with Brandon now, our man in second. This approach to turns three and four, see if they're anything like what Christopher does. Out of the brakes in a second. And foot flat coming out of the corner. Activation of DRS here. Everything in it for Brandon now. He has got to push hard. So Brandon actually races open wheels in real life. So it's nice to see him moving up to the order here. And whoa. Oh. Must be a here we go. Right, I thought it was I thought as much. So it was a very sudden sleepy behind the wheel. Let's move down and see what our guy in third is doing. Coming down. That looks like turn three to me. Copper views are absolutely fantastic. You feel like you're in the car with the driver, the GoPro mounted directly to his head. I did think that we'd have kind of moved up the order and there is second and fifth place. We still have Sean Thunder Linda there in sixth with a 117.9. Rainmaster, he's got a, a seventh place, 117.96 versus Sean's 117.1. Whoa, that wow. was extremely close. Good camera, time to change cameras too, though. Big credit to our director there. <laughs> so just over one minute to go. A bit of racing still left in it. Here's the question: Can Brandon get himself into first? So I think with 
all respect I have for Brandon is that myself and him, we had some amazing battles. But I think to find another second might be pushing. But I have no doubt he might find another point four. No, he has got it. That is going to be his final lap now. With qualifying set to close. This qualifying session set to close. In less than 20 seconds now. So you can see Brandon DRS open. Going up towards Remus. Has come down the hill at Roche. Will he lock up? No, he doesn't. And surprisingly, and enough, he didn't take much of that inside curb. And you bought time, you can lose by doing that. I see he took a uh, really, really late entry. But now he needs to straight line through there. That was very good. So I must say, this performance is looking absolutely fantastic. So Ross managing just to edge out Brandon there by, what is that, 0 0.024. And Brandon, unfortunately, will he move up? Here he comes towards the start finish line. And we didn't oh. get to see it. <laughs> That's a cliffhanger of notes, I think we'll call that. No, he finds he himself didn't having... go quicker. Finds himself having moved down a place actually very, very slightly to Ross in second during that qualifying session. Okay, so we have just been given our new invites. Let's head off there now. And hopefully, we can get Christopher to come and join us. So message here from Quinton saying, go Sean. Finish it off. Yeah. Five minute quality race. Is Dylan also qualifying here? Yeah. I will be joining you in that lobby as soon as I can. Invite, I'm sure it's going to be coming in a minute or two. There it is. Race director and broadcaster, please. So let's just drop Christopher a message. Hey, the music stopped. Peter, I've stolen your uh, team's colors. Say so what? Have I stolen Slap Pete's colors? Who's <laughs> kicking <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> oh, no. The guy's I playing fun and games here. Like There's some heavy. votes to kick oh, me huh. coming through here. He's like so funny. Well, it doesn't help choosing like now. You very much it's going to depend on what lobbies and stuff we end up in. Yeah, uh, but I don't know how many levels. Yeah, it's a little extra for a bit. <laughs> Question, Mr. Hall, would it be a bit of a bad move if I voted to kick you as well? well would it be? You wouldn't be the first one wanting to kick me, so go ahead, kick away. I don't know, I'm voting to kick Mario. I see someone's coming back. Marius is getting himself a vote Who's from this lobby. I have no idea, it just says voted to kick Marius. So now I'm starting to see who wants to get kicked and they're voting to kick Marius and they're voting to kick Alvain. So no love lost here, that's for sure. No Christopher, vote to please, if you can come and join us in the chat party in the Discord, that would be fantastic. We definitely want to have a chat, please. Yeah, I'm here. 
boss. Maybe. Best control. Let's go, Troy. Troy's unfortunately out this evening, Ashley. Yeah, he's out, isn't he? Hey guys, get those thumbs up when you're ready. Let's go. I see Ashley's getting some votes to be kicked now. <laughs> Who is playing these games? Here we go. As we wait for just I'm saying practice. As you wait for qualifying session number five to begin. Um, Rather intelligent, a little bit of banter going on between the drivers. But you can see the chat that comes up on the, the Discord saying, why would you want to kick the boss? Good question, don't you think? So we do have a new standard, a 116.12 has been set by Christopher Fladart Folder. Also known as the foldover. <laughs> it seems that uh, that one caught you a little off guard there. Are you talking to me? Hello. Ross. How's it going? Absolutely fantastic. How's your qualifying treating you? Uh, it's been up and down, so I had a good first session. I came from uh, 16 5 in. Uh, the last session was a bit of a dog's dinner for me. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm like absolutely loving these cars. I spend all day just circulating them. I'm looking forward to the first race, really. Just want to. So Ross, yesterday I was in the practice lobby with you, where you landed up doing a hundred laps. Mm. How many laps have you done in total in preparation for this qualifier? Uh, about 101. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus, no, two, been, been, plus two 50 minute sessions. Plus, well yeah, plus the um, five or so laps on the of these sessions. But, uh, no, yeah, like most of my most of my practice has been um, in that section, and yeah, I, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get to Fuji. Like, it's, it's a bit of a different circuit. Uh, very, very high emphasis on top speed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hopefully stick in 100 laps around there as well, at least. No, before this time next week. That is great to know. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll see you on track. And we need to get Steven indeed into one of these cars before his next race. Oh my word, you are asking a lot. I, 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 must, I must tell you, I'm a Gran Turismo sports fan. Um, and I, when I first bought Project Cars 2, I tried old 1969 Mercedes 300 SEL 6.9 on track and I all my behind so many times going around so many corners um i think i think I, I think the same would happen here so let's hold off on that idea for a little bit why don't we do it uh, i think i think you uh, volunteered yourself all right so just quickly the man of the moment christopher 
going and smashing a 116.121. Wins at 15 coming. <laughs> uh, Dylan, I'm pushing for 15. Um, I was a little bit quicker and we had a bit of traffic in that last session, uh, unfortunately, but uh, these things happen. We'll see. Hopefully, next session I can uh, put in a 15 there for us. For myself and Jakes. All right, Lacker, listen, we're just going to get our faces off the screen so we can see what's happening in the background. And uh, no, just sure. so that everybody who knows is with me lopping in the racing and being the alpha of the Black Mamba team, I've stepped down and allowed Christopher to take the reins there. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Thank you. Only a pleasure. So go and do the Black Mamba's um, proud. And just remember, Christopher, Mamba fever, it's a thing. Proud, and I'm pretty sure everyone's feeling it at the moment. And the format, are you happy with the, the way we've run this qualifying? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, uh, it gives everyone an absolute uh, fair chance to, to get a lap in. Um, and yeah, with the three practice sessions or three qualifying sessions at least, uh, you can definitely hone in on your times and just keep going quicker and quicker. So uh, the cream of the crop will always rise to the top. I hope you went and put that on your profile on your um, on the website. I'm definitely going to go and see if you've added that. Flat out, man. You see. I knew it would come. So, Christopher, shot. Thanks for joining us. Um, you've got one more session left, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, um, we'll come after this next one. Yeah, that's on at the moment. All right, awesome. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks for joining us. That out. Cheers, man. On your pleasure, man. Cheers, Steve. Find ourselves back on track. Qualifying session number five. Bendor been paid to the idea that he is anything but uh, 116.871 right at the beginning of the session. There is less than 10 minutes remaining here. But Marius chasing hard, wanting to close that gap of less than one one hundredth of a second. On Linda in third with a 118 dead. Very, very pretty looking time. It satisfies my OCD greatly. Um, so and that um, is that in third place. That's actually Carrot. And yes, it definitely rounds off the number pretty decently. There we go. And, and as I mentioned it, no, he decides he doesn't like round numbers anymore. And he posts something <laughs> even faster. Well, 117. Point three. That's that's very very quick as well. That's right down the bottom end. It's amazing. You can see that these guys have been matched quite well in all of these qualifying sessions because guys on track now they are. It's, it's quite a wide variance at this point with less than nine minutes to go. At the end of the order, it is some real competition. Find themselves on pole. I must say, I am really enjoying these little rivalries that may be starting to creep up with the likes of Morris and Lendl. We can already see that in the season, they're going to be going to be um, getting very, very close together. Together. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to see Lendl coming up now on the straight. Is he going to pass it? No, no he has still got his 116.8 into the pits. We have a new man at the top, Marius. 116.4 so, so They're chasing that little point one off his fastest lap but we have seen him do a 116.1 in a qualifying practice session Oh, is there a 115 in the, in the Ooh, equation? Oh, that's a little bit work. wide A little bit wide But I think Amazing. now in, in, at the, in these later stages this is when the guys are going to really start pushing because now they've got their times in and now it's about going as close to the limit without burning it mm. as possible now. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's have a look at one of our new covers, Gavin at the very bottom. He's going to be posting his first flying lap here with a bit of luck. 
No, he will need to go out to, to do one more. It is possible because it's possible because he has been making contact with the track. Or he has violated the track limits. So those last two corners it's are extremely sensitive to the track limits. You've got to make sure that you have uh, at least one of those wheels inside of the white line, or else it will invalidate their lap. And some of these guys have been trying to take liberties with that approach. Even being one of them, but that Panasonic car looking very, very good going round turn. Be there down the hill, heading up turn, through turn four. Let's stay with him for the moment and see if we can get ourselves into the cockpit with him now. There we go. Some nice speeds here coming into the penultimate turn. For a little lock up there from the driver in front. Not too sure that is. But he might be able to get a slipstream advantage here. He decides to move out the way. So Gavin will cross the line. Oh wow. Well, wow, fantastic fifth. time. Whoa. Oh. Oh, and ah, oh, wow. I'm not sure who the, the driver in the red car was, but he should have uh, given Gavin way there. But Gavin able to put in a 118.319. So that's definitely to put him up the order. Well, with less than six minutes on the timer for this mission, maybe he can even improve on that. If we look at the middle order there between 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. Less than a second between all of them. What I would actually want to do is get Sly P to come and join us as well because for some reason he's just not finding that pace that he had in the practice session yesterday. There he's sitting on a 119.4 and I definitely expect him to be, to be going quicker. And here we have Pete with his DRS enabled going through turn number 6. That is extremely brave. Good line going through that corner. You have the right line, you have the right speed. You're going to find success. So, remember oh. just dropping us a message here on the live chat on the uh, YouTube. Whoa, that was close. Well saved there, Pete. Well saved there. Remember just saying that unfortunately he had a business call for his two qualifiers, but we'll see if we can get him into some of the others. I want to know is who is driving that red car you can see behind Pete. I'm going to scroll through the list to see if I can find out who that is. Try number 11. Indeed, it is Wolf. He well spotted. I think he is, he is uh, as you were saying, perhaps a bit new to the car and perhaps having some trouble getting um, to grips with it. Yep. That's what look up there. A little bit too wide there going into turn number three. But there's still time before we have the first race. And one of the things I did mention to the drivers is that when they are practicing, they need to please practice with other drivers around them. Because what happens, you get into a situation, you're going to turn number one, you actually don't anticipate how slow the first six cars or so are because the guys are just being cautious and they land up uh, rear-ending each other it's, it's, it's a pity becomes a bit of a washing machine effect there at the end of, uh, of the, pit, the, pit, the main straight and but again you will get there I think you will certainly get there you know some decent time behind the wheel as he is spending now, we'll see Nahai going well up the list in a few sessions time, mark my words. Let's so return to... He's gone into fourth place, so he bet to this time he was sitting at a 118.1. He now finds himself in a 117.584. So that's good enough for fourth in this session. And Gerard T2 has gone quicker, I think by point 0.1 or point 0.2. I don't uh, remember correctly. Let's stay with 
So guys, if you are still on the stream, give us a message, give us a shout out, say hi to your mom, say hi to my mom, whoever you want to, and we will definitely broadcast it for you. Your commentator, Sun Love. That's an interesting approach to that corner. Shifting right down into first gear of Marius there. I wonder if that was an attempt to be a bit late on the brakes and work the gearbox. No sign of first gear going through turn number three. Let's see what approach he takes here. You know that Christopher sticks. And you see, it, it, interesting enough is he went down to third to get that car to yeah. rotate, where Christopher yeah. likes to rather let the car roll out with the speed and carry the speed where Morris wants to accelerate sooner. So two very different driving styles. And less than three hundredths of a second between them. Oh, a little bit of a tank stepper coming out there. And onto main straight. You can see how good the physics are in this game. Take a look at that aerial vibrating head there. And the mirrors, the mirrors on these cars. Wow! Fast and traffic there. Who was that? So Memo actually did uh, send out a shout out to my mother. Hello on to Rat. Yes, my mother was known as Auntie Rat, but that's for another day. And uh, Memo, she's my granny. Seems so we can see who Craig Morris is backing. Is He's just said, come on Ash, let's get another East London Carter to hassle those mumbers. Just about 10 seconds to go. So all the messages coming through from my mom, from Jake's, hello Auntie Hall, and from Brandon, how's it Dylan's mom? I will send the love guys, I will send the love. So thank you guys for sending the message, it's interesting that my brother hasn't sent a message to my mom. You playing the guilt card? It looks like you are. Hey, I am the better brother. I was first. <laughs> <laughs> and that will conclude round number five. Samaria so is not able to go quicker. He did shave five, more or less, from his time. I'm going to have my 460, a big part, 0.035 from a 460 down to a 425. Staying well within the realms of that 1 minute 16 time. Some drivers still out though, perhaps competing some flying laps. Let's see if we can scroll through the order here, find out if there are any more. Looks like Ash is certainly, uh, he's back in the pit as well. That me appears to be qualifying complete. And over to you for the results. So yes, Marius, he goes quickest, but unfortunately he has not improved on his time. Just want to bring up the previous results to see if I had got a time here for Lendl. And unfortunately it, we hadn't captured one for him. But don't worry guys, after all six of the sessions are done, we will be getting all the results together as one. Unfortunately, it has been just a little bit too tricky because I've had to change my front screen, which is actually bringing up the, the actual game itself. While it's too small to actually look and see on my PC monitor, so I have to look at the full view. So it's just the switching that is causing some trouble. What you need is another Dylan. That's what you need. No, what I need is another screen. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna have to have, have your one, one eye. You're gonna have to look at having your one eye point at one screen and your other eye at the other. <laughs> That'll solve your problem. Okay, so we're just waiting for the final invites to come through. 
And Jake, you are 100% correct that it looks like everybody is targeting the mummers. So there we have our new invites. us here ladies and gentlemen we are live on youtube this evening with the south african racing community online formula v8 8.5 league what you are seeing before you is I preparations for too. qualifying session number six the last Sorry, one yeah. of this evening fixed? Fixed on my so we just turn off yeah. that uh, commentary in the background there So let's bring up the cameras once again. So there we are. So Stephen, we currently have about six drivers that are within a second of each other. The midfield is going to be extremely tight. What I'm not sure of is what those times would be and that cutoff, considering we are only taking 12 drivers into tier one. It's going to be very, very interesting. I think Chris is going to be up there. I think Marius is certainly going to be up there. Will we find Ross in those uh, in that really top order of Tier 1? I think there's a very good chance of that. Who else do you think will find themselves up there? Uh, from that last session, I saw Gavin having put in a very, very solid time down in third place. Uh, he could find himself there. It, it seems to be that there's all to play for at the moment. We'll have to wait and see what the final results look like, of course. But... And we it seems to me the discount uh, Connor he put in some really good times there as well as Craig so that's already got us just about 10 drivers it's going to be very very interesting we are about to head out onto the Red Bull Ring home of the Austrian F1 Grand Prix so I see that they have been able to start without us and uh, needing to push buttons Thank you, Ross. We are seeing it, and we've got you. If you think about all of the mechanics that need to come together or something like this to work, where you've got people driving from all over the world joining us here from the southern tip of the African continent, streaming live all over the world courtesy of youtube very proudly brought to you by vx gaming ascom and deliver your parcel so guys please go to the description all the details are down there and you go and support the businesses that are supporting soccer that would be fantastic Right, our guys now are moving on to the track out of the pit lane. Let's are on get board some right now. Sound. Absolutely, you are on board right now with one Ross. You're going to get some temperature into those tyres. Yes, this game is that realistic. You must get temperature into your tyres before you're going to put in a flying lap. Not only does that improve your grip? It improves your downforce. A nice example of it there. Temperature that went back a little bit too hot. So the guys to be looking out for in this session, we have Christopher once again. We have Stephen. I'm hoping that he's able to get into those 118s. Ronaldo, he has officially qualified for this championship into tier one, but he will be quick. Now coming up 
the main straight underneath lights and to set their fastest times. Oh, Ross, Ross running wide. Whoa. A little bit Oh, my word. Yo, I closed my eyes. I got such a fright. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how car, these cars appear out of nowhere in front of you. Kind of even a, oh, that's a spin. That's a spin. Tires too cold, perhaps? Back to the pits. Not going to waste time with that lap. What it looked like you might have done, I think you might have just grabbed that lower gear just a little bit too soon. So just unsettled the car, and then when he got into the power, because that rear was already stepping out, he had nowhere else to go. Well, we're getting a bit of lag there from Ross. A little bit find ourselves what's happening in the cockpit of Mr. Boulder. Oh no, that's going to be potentially an invalid lap time. He may have gone outside of the track limits. Doesn't appear to be so because he's now clocked himself at 116.3 fastest time of the session so far. For his first top lap time, lap time, that was very, very quick. Could we find ourselves? Certainly, Mr. Boulder having a 1.15 during this session. Well, the only way to find out is to stay tuned. Let's see him fighting that car as he comes up over the hill. Bit of I didn't like that lap. Didn't like that lap. Look at what is happening in second place. Who is that? That is Ronaldo. On VR18 SNBL. So, Ronaldo. Um, we had a good couple of battles during our original RSO one, but then um, he went and he struggled to finish that season due to a lot of disconnections, a lot of internet problems, and Ronaldo kind of just slipped away. And it was a, probably the last season or so where his line has become stable, and now he's able to come and race us without too many issues. So it's really great to have Ronaldo as one of our consistent mm -hmm. members now at Soccer. Nice to see him back. Or heading up straight and hard onto the brakes. Let's go to the cockpit. See what kind of speed he's going to be doing up the hill in turn two. Ready 250 kilometers an hour. Hot on the brakes down into first gear. Interesting maneuver. A risky maneuver as well. Putting the power down too soon in first. We'll see those rear wheels. I had to kick you off like a bucking bronco. <laughs> that is not joking. So great entry there for Ronaldo. Perez open, heading down the hill. Will he go into third? Yeah, so he does to use the gate. Same kind of selection that uh, Engine. Morris does. Into the fourth spot early there, halfway through the corner, and nice line. And six and on to that straight, heading down to the penultimate corner. This is where it gets a bit tricky. Won't be able to get just oh. through Seems like that was okay. Might have cut that corner. Let's see if he does it's get me that time it. as he crosses the start finish line. So if it oh. does go faster, he's now on a 117.5. So great effort there. There's a code flying in the air there. I don't know if anybody managed to catch it. Still a big gap though. Up uh, uh, in front. More than a second clear of the drivers. Oh, no, we've got somebody on the side there having a picnic by the looks of it. Um, we have got at least a second between first and second position this qualifying session. Ronaldo no, clearly be pushing very hard. There's a second quite slow through that corner. Might just be the lag playing up a little bit. DRS open full speed down here and down to third. If it's a little bit wide, he might run off. Yep. Oh, there, there it is. 
it is. So is he going to abandon the lap? So we've got a comment oh, here from Craig Thompson saying there is a big downforce drop when you're following another car. Like, uh, the calls went through Ronaldo. You've got to be careful there. Those mirrors are there for a reason. Very aware of your surroundings. You're driving high-powered cars like these, especially open-wheel cars where things can get very tricky very quickly. I found the cone, by the way. It hasn't been planned yet. Still on the track. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Need to get our race. Need to get our race. Pushes out there to go and clean that up. So you know the swap. So Brandon is officially in the 116 club. So that's just going to tighten up that top 10 even closer. The horn dog, he moves himself up into fourth place, but we seem to have lost It does appear to be a brand that has lost the connection, but he'll be able to rejoin. But because we have his time on the stream, we saw his time, that is the time that will be used because we have record of it. In place, as you can see on the grid, left hand corner of your screen, See a missing number two, that's where Brandon should be. And because of the nature of esports and what can be bad internet connections at the time, we must play fair. So, for this uh, coming season that's coming, is in the last season, what we do is we have a eight race season, but only in seven of your races count and we drop your the lowest one where the votes for the season the guys wanted every single race to count so here wherever we finish for the next eight races we'll be counting towards your championship points that's how it should be it's not like school yeah you get to ask the teacher but how many of the tests of this uh, year count at the end of the year quite work that way we did right, that okay? is that because disconnections happen and there's nothing worse than practicing for weeks you come to a race you disconnect and then you get zero points at least you have an opportunity to still be competitive within a championship by only having seven of those counted news now coming in the race feed that brandon managed to get himself disqualified for pit then oh oh no 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 Christopher finding a big off there. Don't know what happened there. We will have to look at that footage. E exactly what the reason is. Finding himself back in the pit lane. Not going to waste time with that lap. Scroll down to our first and in the 119 category. And the two of them also have a very interesting relationship. Uh, if it makes for good racing and it makes for a good partnership in the cars, I'm all for it. Well, it is a father-in-law and a son-in-law. Oh, really? There you go. So was down the order, Donovan, not able to get um, anywhere near out of those 20s. Uh, Terry Ross at 21.2. Ross down in a 120.4. He must be having an absolute nightmare trying to get a lap in. It could be different settings that are used for the car which he's playing around with to see and get some more 
some more grip out of the car to improve his lap times. Not working for him around now. We will see he is in the pits on his way out trying to warm the tyres before he hits the track. up there from is that Mimo? That is Memo. The real name Agamemnon Memo for short. So he will actually be racing with Marshall. The two of them race together um, for the chasing Beavers team. But now we need to just check with Marshall moving up into the Alpha tier and should we will not get there, will they still be considered teammates or will there be a few members being recruited to the Chasing Heaters? Quick enough to move up the order. The Mimmel's still doing a 118.7. Whoa, big catch there in the background. It's a tax that world note. Even up in fourth place at the moment. Putting in a solid 117.5. And being part of the 117 club comprising in this oh no Whoa. big off, off, off at the bottom Steven, there Steven. so Stephen currently fourth fastest here so if I switching cameras these guys won't be improving there yeah we are less than a minute away from the end of this the sixth and final qualifying session for this evening. It's first of all the man to beat, showing why he was last season's winner. 116 B52. Let's find ourselves making him head inside the car. So guys just remember that even though Brandon disqualified himself from the qualifying that time will stand because essentially he disqualified himself to qualify further but he still would have been able to start in that position in the actual race. Just so that we can clarify that now and there aren't any weird questions later. Looking at the race feed we'll see that Ross having some mechanical issues with his car. That could be one of the reasons why he's unable to make it down to the one or the teens rather one teens section of this time. So Christopher crosses the lap and he just misses that 115. So unfortunately oh. The 115 is not found here at the Formula Renault 3.5 V8 qualifier. Will this be a donut? No. He decides to just pull off and go in. So we'll definitely want to get Christopher to chat to us here. These guys putting in the so, he gets himself into the 118s, uh, under the 118, so he's in the 117 club. Great effort there. And we see that Marshall disconnected, but that is not a problem. So you'll see there, there Brandon's time does still hold with that 116.958 he just wasn't able to continue Ronaldo coming in third 
117.5. He is the first man in the 117 club. Less than half a second between those drivers from third through to seventh. And that concludes the qualifying session for this evening's proceedings. So I do hope that we can get Christopher in here. Um, but Stephen, just from a racing point of view, the times that the guys have been putting on, they are very close, considering if you think of some of the lap times that you had. So from first all the way down the field, we're probably looking at about two seconds across 32 drivers. Absolutely. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. It just shows you the benefits of having a single car race like this. It really does eliminate a lot of the uh, certainties can come about by using multi-make uh, races and this is nothing but a test of raw skill to come from these drivers and I hope that they will be able to entertain us as much as they have tonight when the formal races do begin and yes, so when that, is that scheduled for? That is scheduled for next week. My first race is, if memory serves me right, I want to say Fuji, but it hasn't been, I didn't check it. So the next race is, please stand by. Yes, it is Fuji. The format for the race is a 40 minute lap, a 40 minute race, but there is a pit stop that the guys have to do it is a mandatory pit stop so it even though we aren't able to set it as a mandatory pit stop the guys will be required to go should they not do the pit stop there will be additional time added to the end of their race and that will most definitely change where they where they end up That is how a lot of the endurance races, especially with the classical historic racing that happens in South Africa, uh, Legends of the Nine Hour is a good example of that, where even though a car will be able to go through a 45-minute session without necessarily needing to visit the men in the pits, uh, they do come in for a short pit stop um, as part of the nostalgic aspect of Legends of the Nine Hour, it's exactly the same principle which will be applied uh, to this racing that we're seeing um, and that we will be seeing rather next week, Thursday. So as you guys saw is that the only way I was able to type was directly on the screen so you could all see, but now we just invited Marius and Christopher into just so we can have one final chat before we wrap it up. So our pole sitting qualifier, even though you didn't have to qualify, a 116.051. What happened to your 15? <laughs> I threw it away on the last corner, to be honest with you. Um, in the end, uh, my potential dropped to a 15.6 on that last lap. It was sitting at a 16 dead, and uh, it was just one of those laps. And uh, threw it away on the last corner, man. Unfortunately, that's absolutely incredible. So, Marius, uh, the second hey, fastest this time. <laughs> How's it, bud? Second fastest time for you, Marius. Um, and what we noticed is that going through turns three and four, that both of you are taking the car, the gear. I mean, they're taking the corner in different gears. So, Marius, you're no, always the first just one second gear down. <laughs> So very, I actually very interesting. tried it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but that was an awesome you? lap, that last one. Awesome. Thanks, lap. bud. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. Man. Yeah, cool. We're gonna. I can't wait for the championship to happen when I look at the times. So, no, it's yes. incredible. It's so, guys, be I, I do apologize. I wasn't able to multitask and get that updated as we we're going. There was just so much happening, so much um, to play around with, but we will get it up shortly. Um, and then, guys, to the races, this format, what did you guys think about it? Oh, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The only one word. Cool. I enjoy it. 
if it's going to go on like this, I, I don't know. I can't wait for the for the race. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. well, remember, before we get to that race, we still have Monday. <laughs> I haven't even thought of that. <laughs> I haven't even thought of what, if I'm going to use a Sierra or with Merck. I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs> All right. Also, no, excited well, for well. this one. <laughs> and there's Sunday as well. I, I don't know where the you know. Hey, first. coconuts, <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah flat out unfortunately i can't join on the sunday but uh, monday i haven't even I haven't even thought of which car uh, I've, I've driven the merc once or twice but um i haven't touched the others so yeah we know you want you <laughs> uh it's uh, <laughs> it's calling me <laughs> and uh i'll have to i'll have to test it and see um i've got to i've got to think about my teammate as well we've got to make a choice together and unfortunately um He's out to drive, so uh, I've got to make a choice for both of us. Hopefully, he likes my choice, <laughs> and um, yeah, we will. Uh, we'll definitely have fun, and I can't wait for the championship. It's going to be amazing. The times are so close; it's going to be it's going to be incredible. Cool, awesome. And then, yeah. um, just a quick one for you, Marius. Um, driving as the Silverback Racing, do you have a potential teammate? Because you know that um, Mamba Fever, it's a thing. Yeah, I'll have, for this uh, uh, season, I'll have to take it alone. Um, lots of pressure, <laughs> but uh, this season is I'll be scouting for uh, a, a Silverback teammate. Awesome, uh, love it. So I see there's lots of potential. <laughs> Yo, there's very fast guys now that that uh, that's sitting on me and uh, Christopher's uh, behind. So uh, it's very exciting. Awesome. Cool. Guys, thank yeah. you so much. We will be back, as mentioned, on Monday for the qualifiers. Unfortunately, we don't live stream the Sunday races, but the first race will be at Fiji in the Renaults. And um, just keep watching our Facebook page as well as our website, and we will get up all the results coming soon. Then to the guys on the Discord, we'll be there now. Thank you, guys. See you, Christopher. On track. Thanks, guys. Cheers, bud. Play, play it out. <laughs> Get out. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye, Thanks for joining me. Cheers, cheers, bro. Cheers. And uh, to my co commentator, Stephen, thank you so much for your time. Really, really do appreciate it. And um, we'll catch up for Monday. Otherwise, we'll see you on Sunday. Um, on Thursday. Actually, on the flip. Yes. <laughs> You're going to get it right eventually. Don't I worry. Will. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Once I've got my three uh, screens, what? I'll be okay. There you go. There you go. No, you know what? This is this was a phenomenal racing that we saw here tonight. The guys really throwing down the gauntlet to a number of their uh, uh, competitors to see exactly how they can improve on those times in the race itself. When pressure comes to bear, and when you've got all these guys on track fighting amongst each other, open wheel to open wheel, think we're in for some fantastic racing come next week thursday and with that guys if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe uh, that subscribe button hit the notification button so you will be notified every time we do go live we do live stream two races every week so until then thanks for watching yos it's for now